So, guitar number three of the day um, is... Also, I'm, I was going to say, I'm not surprised to see this because I remember we went to a Taylor demo at... I forget where it was. Windows. And well, it was Windows, yeah, that was it, at, uh, over the Metal Centre a while ago and they were demoing this, which is the Taylor... T5, this is the standard. The standard Taylor T5. I remember you've been quite taken with it. I yeah. played it in the store, but only acoustically. But this has got a few tricks up its sleeve. It's not... Taylor tend to be thought of as the, like one acoustic. of the premier acoustic brands, but what what does this have that sets it apart from like just buying Taylor, you know, 320 or whatever? Well, it's, um, it's a hybrid. Right. So it is an acoustic and it's an electric. So what we have is a piezo acoustic pickup, called, they call it a body sensor. It's their own pickup, yeah. which is sitting about there. So, because the piezo, so there's a that's not a piezo then, is it? Because I, the the piezo, piezo, I tend to think the piezo is the little thing under the saddles. Yeah, it's not. It's their equivalent of it, but they call it a body sensor. Okay. It's everything that's... All the electrics on there, they never buy anything in. It's all designed yeah. and stuff on there. Um, so it's, it's, it's very like a piezo, but it sits called a body sensor and it's about there. Right. Okay, and that's their main acoustic pickup. Okay. It has a humbucker there. Yes, I kid you not, that is a humbucker. It's that telly style pickup there. That's it's it. That's a stacked hum. humbucker. There's another humbucker under the neck there. Right. So it's got two humbuckers, you can only see one pickup and an acoustic one on there. So, okay. it has, the difference here, it has, it has the same tone controls as their expression system. So we've got, we've got a bass and a treble and a volume. So if I bought an electroacoustic... It would have the body like sensor, that, that sort of one. guitar. Yeah, it would have the, elect it would have the yeah. sensor pickup there, it would have these controls. It wouldn't have a five-way switch ah, on the top. Ah, it have a five-way switch on the top. Yes. And... We obviously it's active. We have a battery compartment on the back. In the back, okay. Yeah. So five-way switch. I apologise for the creaking of the chair. That's, yeah, that's the chair, not your back. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I had a full-size Les Paul, that back. would be yes. your back. Yeah. So, so what so, we have is a very tonally strange guitar here. So I was calling the Les Paul versatile, but this probably knocks that into a cock hat then, doesn't it? In terms of what you can do with it. Well. Right, this is the body sensor pickup going through an electric amp. Not how, and now I've had it for a while, I'd probably use it. Yeah. So, I mean. So, being an electric amp, you're losing a lot of the top end that you would normally get. Yeah, I mean. You know, it's a. Acoustic amp lets the. The signal breathe. It but, does. I mean, what we can do, the way that I'm recording here, I've taken two lines to the yeah. uh, the recorder, um, but they're emulating it out from the app. Yeah. So it's, it's emulating a 12 inch speaker, so you're going to lose some of the top end. But I've also got an acoustic mix from the room, so I'll follow yeah. this, I'll blend in a bit more of the acoustic mix. But we're not really getting the electro, electro acoustic experience yeah. quite so, well with our acoustic app. So this is in a this is in a double D tuning as we talked yeah. about before. Just yeah. with a, you know, it's very um, yeah. Acoustically, it's very pleasing. It is. Yeah. yeah. Just, just turn the volume down. So we just got room acoustic yeah. now. No, I tell you what, I'm forgetting. Yeah. I mean, three yeah, it's, yeah. it's not the best. It's not as good as an acoustic because. It's about the width of a Les Paul. Because that's, that's the thing, with an acoustic yeah. guitar, the acoustic really, really do matter. Yeah. It's um, bright though, it's jangly. It is, it is it's very jangly. Um, it doesn't have very much of yours. No, <laughs> you can buy them for it though. Yeah, yeah of course you can. Back in normal tuning, so you know it's very yeah. Easy. I am using your pick there, so oh, it's so, yeah, very hard. Yeah. You know, it's, but it's, it's still got the volume of an acoustic. I mean, never get more volume half if I was sitting here playing a dreadnought or something, yeah, but. It's um, it's it's, it's hollow. Good, it's it's, it's good complete. It's complete stuff. hollow bodied. Yeah. F holes. I mean, the finish on it. I, I I cannot say that the 
quality of the workmanship on this mm. is is. I mean, you get a photo. Can you see the wood? Yeah, that's like, the it's just wood most, surface, But I mean, yeah. it's the nice touches. I know somebody who's got a three thousand pound Gibson three three nine um, custom shop, mm -hmm. and you know they haven't got the binding inside yeah, there. That was really oh, fiddly, it? yeah, yeah. And it's on there. Um, just, just you know, the, the double line binding yeah. on it. It's just an amazingly well finished guitar. I'm just we'll go back to the amp now. So what am I hearing here? This is just the bottom yes. sense of it. Yes. Which is the most acoustic sound. Yeah. Neck. The invisible humbucker under there. Yeah. In the neck position. Put some dirt on it. Might just have to go up and volume there because you can probably hear the guitar more. Yeah. How many acoustics can do that? Yeah. Acoustic guitar with just a piezo pick up, and that yeah. through it, it, it uh, overdrive yeah. pedal sound all. Yeah, right. The difference is on here you've got a bass and a treble. Yeah. So normally you just got a tone control. Yeah. It's not dynamic. Mm -hmm. But here, you go with the with the turn the bass off. Yeah. Both in the click position because there's a click position. Right. Click center notch. Yeah. Because that's active pickups, of course, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's the same as having two controls. Well, you've got a okay, so now, bridge. Bit of chorus on. Let's knock the chorus off. Oh, okay. Okay. We now have both pickups. Okay. So this is both the electric pickups. These are both the electric pickups. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's just hear that. Hear that clean. Okay. Yeah. So that's both the pickups in series. In series, right? Yes. Now we're both in parallel. Typically, they were wired in parallel. Yeah. On a leg and on the leg. Just go with the dirty again. Yeah. Just on that. Okay. The signal comes in, yeah. goes into one pickup, mm -hmm. goes through to the next pickup, and then out um, again. Yeah. Where, where if they are um, in parallel, yeah. the signal comes in and goes to there, signal comes in and goes to there, then they both go out to like that. So yeah. they're both with equal number. It's not going yeah. through one before it goes to the other. Yeah. It's a very hard guitar to play. Yeah. I'm not just. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 just because you don't know what sort of to do with it, mm -hmm. you know. So, where am I? Let's just go. So Acoustic all the way over. So, all the way over, this yeah. is just a regular. Actually, I think I might. Sorry, I think I might not. I think on the, that one there, it it has a part of the mm. neck blended in with the. Oh, uh, right. On there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It feels like like playing an acoustic reed. Really. It does. With an electric neck. Um, it's a bit of a less poorly tight neck. Um, yeah, not as, not as chunky as my acoustic guitar. So this is bringing in... This is just the neck. Number two is just... This neck. is just an uh, electric pickup. It, 
feels weird yeah. playing the sort of stuff I would play on an electric because you tend to play an electric like an electric yeah. and an acoustic like mm. an acoustic. And you're right. It's how do you how do you approach this? Because yeah. the like I said, the neck feels fairly electric, but the body experience isn't. Mm. Mm. It's a bridge, just a bridge. Just a bridge. Four is uh, parallel. Back these up, par two, these yeah. two. And then serial. So it's the fact that we can do Ginoge. Yes. And go to bridge middle. Uh, bridge middle is the bridge pickup. <laughs> I can fade yeah. out the room because we're here. We're yeah. hearing a lot of acoustic from yeah. the guitar. We're we'll interested to hear this just on just, just on what's coming from the direct feed or what what yeah. we're hearing coming out of the speaker on the eye. <laughs> Strange experience in a way, yeah. but it's it's a, it's a very pleasant one. Yeah. Um, No, that's um, it's certainly different. It is certainly different. Um, explain the neck joint because people might not know about Taylor's neck joint. The, the, the neck joint is it's it's all precision cut. Yeah. So actually, the bolt there, they reckon they don't even need it. So this is a one. It's it's a bolt on neck. Yeah. It, it's a bolt bolt on neck with one bolt. Right. And it's because it's so perfectly machined. Mm -hmm. That they they actually don't think they even need it. They could glue the neck in and it'll be fine. Yeah. And that that is just there just to as an extra precaution in case I think someone yeah. throws one around stage. It's not really the good no, time no. to work. Uh, no, no, it's not the like throw sort of around stage. Up. So it's just one one bolt, to Alan yeah. Key to, on there, taken uh -huh. off, neck comes off. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean the the quality of the workmanship on these things is is phenomenal. So where the these are made in USA, uh, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego is the factory for these ones. Yeah. yeah. No, no, nothing else done anywhere else. What, what I'll say about this is, it's a, it, it's a very difficult guitar. There's, there's a few things. If you used to play an electric like me, and you turn the volume down. Yeah, the, the controls are just, in just the wrong place. The, 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 the tone controls are not just in the wrong place, mm -hmm. they're just wrong. Yeah. What, <laughs> because you can't get to them, it's designed to be set up once and left. Yeah. So, you know, you, all right, I've got this, that's my sound, you know. That's my sound. Yeah. That's not true. I mean, that's, that's it's a lovely sound. Yeah. But say, if you suddenly want to go to electric, yeah, you might want a different tonal control. Yeah. And they're not they're not, not, they're not easy on, accessible. On, even on electric, there's not enough people use the tone control yeah. while they're playing. Probably I'm as much of an offender as anyone, to be honest, for that. And I just. The way that this is designed to be made to be played is, they like said, the controls are set up. What I've found now is your, your best bet. I've got a Morley AB switch, mm -hmm. so it'll have my so that the dry signal goes into there from the guitar, and then you have the one going to your rig and another line going straight to the desk. Oh, and where this sounds yeah. so much better, it's just going straight into a desk. Okay. So I don't put it through an acoustic amp; mm -hmm. it just goes into the desk. So with a touch of a button, yeah. I've still got a slide here, yeah. but you can then just, you know, go from there. Right, so I'll tell you what we can do. Dig out a bit of rather old technology. I've got the Korg Tonewitz Pandora PS4, which has amp emulation. Right. Let's try plugging it into that, but I'll turn off the amp. Okay. I'll turn off the speaker emulation, I should say. I'll just explain what we've done. Explain what we've done there. This little box of tricks, it's a multi effects unit. Yeah. But what you can do is you can emulate different amp models, different mm -hmm. speaker models, and so on. So what you've got here is 
basically a clean sound, mm -hmm. but I've turned off the speaker cabinet emulation, so that right. brings in all the top end. We can't hear it in the room, but I've done this on the direct in to where we're, we are recording. Mm -hmm. So give that a bit of a break. That's on the yeah. acoustic pickup, and that's how I would run it, which is with an AB switch yeah. up the foot, mm -hmm. so the dry signal can just go straight to the desk with a bit of a reverb, and, you yeah. know. Yeah. Because I'm fine in electric guitar, I'm fine in acoustic guitar. It is two separate uh, disciplines. Really. It is. There is one amp out there that now does it, which I'm sort of looking at. A hybrid amp as well. There's a hybrid amp, and you saw it being used at Whitney Bay Playhouse a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Lofkin. Nils Lofkin's got yeah. it, and it's a Fender Tween. It looks like a, looks like a twin. Yeah. There's a dial on it that you can just flick it onto a black face or a silver face, mm -hmm. and that's go by with one amp. So he was using oh, electric through it and stuff. Yeah. So there is one now, and very light. Uh, nine kilos or something ridiculous. Wow. I know. For a two by eight, two by eight. So I was thinking about, you know, the acoustic amp and then with a bit of drive if you wanted to yeah. use it. Because that's the thing where you, you you get different bits of equipment, it's, just, it's, it's more stuff to carry. Yeah, oh yeah it is, Because yeah. you already run a rack pedal, you run two amps, yeah. you've got speaker cameras. Like if you want this to be bringing a car. Yeah, another, you know, another amp and, and switching yeah. gear and all that sort of stuff for it. I think what we, what we should just try now, just on this one is, mm -hmm. Um, go back into the amp. Yeah. Okay. But we'll we'll use the gain on the amp to get like a, you know, a, a very tuby dirty sound because I think that's where this. Okay. I think that's where this guitar really does excel okay. on that one. Drop that. Right. So, so now we've got on the dirty channel on the black star. Yeah. We've turned the gain right up. So this is the sort well, of. The gain's on about six o'clock. It's, uh, sorry, it's, it's a fairly. It's on number six. It's on yeah. one o'clock. It's a fairly gainy yeah. tube, so this is an old tube, um, yeah. uh, dirty channel. Yeah. So, what pickups have we got? This is a, this is the bridge pickup on here. Yeah. And I think this is where you realise actually the sounds you can get with this, because I mean, there's not many. You couldn't put an acoustic, go from an acoustic yeah. sound without swapping guitar, so something like. <laughs> playing an acoustic guitar. Yeah. Sound working out of because um, yeah. I remember when I first got um, 
first got an acoustic guitar with yeah. the, the like a piezo pickup. Yeah. Oh, you tried plugging it. Just plugging it. Just, 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 just with shits and giggles. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And it just it's does horrendous. not work. It's absolutely horrendous. What but then. This is a true hybrid. You've got yeah. all of the. All of those tones. It just, like you say, it's a, it's a mental thing to know that you're playing a guitar that can play like an electric, yeah. even though it feels yeah. you've got this big acoustic shape. Strange, say, strange, strange it experience. is. What I'll say about it yeah. is, it's it's an acoustic with a bit of electric. Mm -hmm. It's it's electric with um, it's not an electric with a bit of acoustic. If that makes sense. Yeah. Now if I I just say if I you know if I want to say like you know Bob Taylor, if you build me a custom one of these, there's, there's it's all around the controls yeah. that I would change. What would make this guitar outstanding? Mm -hmm. Is if they move the coat to they do this is the T5 yeah. and they do a T3 and a T3 Bigsby, yeah, which is a Gretsch esque yes, type the T, guitar. The T, it's a solid body. Um, it's it, it's F hole, but I think it's it's got a it's got a solid block right. in the middle there. Yeah. The yeah. Up. and it's it's always got a lot of wood at the back. It's got Bigsby on it. Yeah. Um, and what that's got is is normal controls yeah. down there. So what should happen in here is is. Ideally, to make this perfect, mm -hmm. it should have a five-way switch the same as that down here. Yeah. With the volume and the tone controls there, but the normal volume and the tone controls. Yeah. So just not not these little skinny acoustic type yeah. ones, full on yeah. proper. These. Where the electric guitarist is used to find in the knobs yes, and switches. And exactly, yeah. because then it makes it far more usable. Mm -hmm. And this this is not usable the way that I think they want it to be used. Yeah. Now, this is this guitar's been around for ten plus years. I think now it was mid two thousands. It was designed. Yeah. And they do they do like a they do one now that's called um, the Z version, and it's slightly smaller. It's much more like a Les Paul size. Again, yeah. they now they reckon that was a bit more electric. It's more. This, this is a big it's guitar. It's a psychological thing that you, yeah. if your arms up like this, you play an acoustic. If it's down like that, you play an electric. But the controls are still in the same place. And it's, yeah. it's just not right to that. That that's what you know. They need, they need that. They need a five way. Just a normal, to honest, even a strap five way. Yeah. Or a nice little, you know, like a five way toggle, which you yeah. can get. Yeah. Um, to be down here, and then you can still keep the two tone controls, mm -hmm. but they need to. They're not. They don't need to be the expression system. What they want to be yeah. is a proper tone pot, um, and then put through onto here. Okay. I mean, basically, there's a block of wood in there that has to be that's to, got to stuff support in. all of the yeah. controls. So yeah. That, it's, so you end up with a bit of empty room here, and you take up a bit of room there. Mm -hmm. You know, which they probably don't, they may not want to I do. I suppose but because it, the, the acoustic guitar, how the top resonates in that, I suppose it, it could become a factor. It does, and yeah. we've seen them pull one to bits and show yeah. where it oh, resonates. Yeah, yeah. So here's, here's a question for you. Have you played this one live yet? I've played this, yeah. yeah on, on stage for you. Yeah. Um, feedback going to be a bit of an issue, is it's it? It's a very big issue. Yeah. What I've got. All you've only got the little slim F holy type cutaways. It's going to resonate. Oh no! Lot. This screams like a. <laughs> it does. Yes. This thing. Um, I've got Fen. Uh, not Fender. Fender. The <laughs> Taylor sent me the. They do some laser cut F inserts, uh -huh. which go in there to do it. So it's like an acoustic deadening. Foam. Yeah, it's like a deadening foam that fits perfectly within there, mm -hmm. um, which which helps a bit. There's only one way to properly do it, and this is what everybody does with it. Um, who wants to use it any sort of game? You got to pack the inside out. You got to put foam in it, which will lose some of the acoustic sound. You know, some of the. How do you, can you do that? Yeah, you can get it's, it's a reverse. It is a reversible thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You just I don't I don't mean expanding foam. I'm talking oh, no, about no, like no. packing foam. No, because I saw you can get into the whole guitar through here. Yeah, Take I, that back plate off. Get in. Yeah, as I was watching a, a video on uh, YouTube, uh, is it, does a lot of luthiery, and he showed you like some of the nightmare jobs that he gets. And somebody had brought in a three three five, with two F holes. You know, yeah. quite a big body, and they had feedback issues. Yeah. So their solution was you know the polystyrene packing pins. Yeah. They must have spent all day feeding them in through the F holes. 
And then it had come to this guy to do a bit of a reef burn. And it was like, one of the things I need to do is take the polystyrene peanuts out. Yeah. So he was having a little pair of tweezers, kind of... Pulling them out. Pulling these you think the things out. Well, start with a hoover myself. Yeah, but, yeah. but there you've got the you've got the option you can get the you can get, get, you access, can get, to you can get access to everything. So here, so I'm gonna pack it out and see what it what it goes yeah. like there, you know, because you've got very good access. Mm -hmm. um, pack it out, uh, and then um, I've got some black card that I'm gonna put like underneath the hole so yeah. you can't see the packing foam within there. Yeah, because um, it'll just look black. Mm -hmm. yeah, it'll go over my serial number, but I'm not really... Yeah. So, being foam, you've got some air in there, so you'll have the compromise between something that'll breathe and, yeah. and resonate, but it's not going yeah. to... Um, it's not going to do it so much that it starts to yeah. become cheap, I guess, yeah. So, I'm guessing for practical use, this is a brilliant stage acoustic because you've got a bit more flexibility. It's not an electric replacement though, is it? I'd like it to be, but it's not. Yeah. It doesn't suit my play. Just because, yeah. Because of the controls. controls and because no. and it feeds back. You do want to turn the volume down? So. Uh -huh. And I'm not the only person who said that, you know, it's, it's yeah. a, that's why they made the inserts to go with it, to be honest. Yeah. Said, you know, they, they come out, they are so well done. Mm -hmm. It's it's apparently it's the machining that they use. Everything is there's yeah. no there's no um, the way that this bolt works is there's no room for error yeah. anywhere. You know the net that's gone in. These will be laser cut. Mm -hmm. um, these will go in. You know exactly where they are. Because yeah. remember the the tailor night that we went to, they, they talked a lot about the manufacturing process. And one of the things they said was if you wanted to do a complete net replacement, you could take your guitar to tailor. They could take a net off the production line, yeah. take the net off your guitar, slap it in. And ready to go. And, and the bulk of the time was how long it took to put a new set of strings on and tune yeah, it up. Yeah. Which, like, even with something like a bolt on neck like a strat, you'd expect, oh, oh I might need to do a bit of shimming here or whatever. You have to shim It'll never yeah. line up. Put yeah. this neck on. I mean, I've had that conversation with my guitar tech as well, but mm. he's just said, the amount of time someone turns up to me with a load of bits, yeah. it's just like, you know, that neck, you know, it's not it's not the way they're designed to do it. Yeah. I think you've got to buy an all parts neck and put it onto a fender body and they never yeah. fit in you. It's Shimmering off a bit of here, yeah. you've got to put a sh you know, you've got to put a shim there to bring it out to yeah. level it up because it's not the we, right depth. That, that's 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 not a shim on the, yeah. the, the Mexican one. You changed the colours on that. I've replaced the plastic work. Yeah. yeah, it used to be white. I just thought I changed the scratch plate on the USA one. And did that one at the same time? And uh, no, I just thought I've I realised how much I like the contrasting look on uh, pickups and scratch yeah. plate. I thought I could get some black, black yeah. on it. It's a bit more, a bit yeah. more badass. I mean that. I mean this is now just pure acoustic work. One, yeah. You know. We'll leave this in. Yeah. You know, I see it very useful about the house that being. Just as an acoustic guitar. Oh, yeah. Just grab your acoustic and see the difference in volumes like. Well, imagine that should be a lot, you know, just. This a, is a bigger point. Look at the, the, like the depth yeah. on this. So this is a grand concert size. And this is less ball size. Less ball size. Well, I mean, less ball thickness. Yeah, uh, yeah. But probably, uh, probably not. Grand grand yeah. size. See, it's a difference. There's a, there's a. And also, I think the bigger copper strings. Because are they twelves or thirteen? Uh, um, 12. 12. 12 to bigger strings 12 to 56. as well. Yeah. But tonality wise, um, so just give us a G chord. This I think is richer, but volume wise, you're not losing, you're not losing much. Yeah. Doesn't feel right on here. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm just not sure what it is, but yeah. it, it's a very nice instrument. Mm -hmm. Whether I'll keep it for a long time, I'm going to persevere with it, I yeah. think, and then just decide. I suppose that's the thing. Give it, give it the benefit of the doubt, and see how you get on. I mean, the thing was, I bought it and thought, this is this is amazing, this is fantastic, mm -hmm. to the point where I had one of my other acoustics up for sale, my main one, my Takamine, mm -hmm. and then I thought, no. Takamine, it's a better acoustic guitar, you want an acoustic and I've got guitar. a better electric guitar. I haven't got anything else that's better as a hybrid. Yeah. And I thought I'm not selling that. I'm mm. keeping it. Yeah. Because you got this one second hand. 
Yeah. Or, or pre-owned. So yeah. This was pre-owned, yeah. How did the previous owner get on with it? And hated was that it. why he was selling it? Hated it. Mm -hmm. um, he bought, I don't even know why he bought it. He paid full price for it as well. He paid 1,800 quid for it. Mm. These are expensive yeah, guitars. Yeah, but you've got a lot of, I mean, like a Taylor acoustic. Oh, I mean, uh, well into the four figures because they are so well made. And, yeah. And oh, I mean, if a, a three one four CE similar to like yeah. that one mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. is fifteen hundred quid. Mm -hmm. This this thing's eighteen on a good day for a standard. You can probably pick one up for about fifteen sixteen hundred. Mm -hmm. um, some of the now they do like a C one, which is like they call it customer. It's not a custom shop. Mm -hmm. They're two thousand plus. Mm -hmm. like, it's a fortune. Um, and the story behind this one was is that I was after one that somebody wanted. To about 950 quid for it. and then and I thought I'm not having that one and this guy was desperate to sell it and I don't think he was short of money so he wasn't that yeah. bothered um, so I got a bargain on it yeah. So, yeah, yeah. paid 600 for this one as well <laughs> it, it's less than a year old hadn't been registered so it's registered to me with Taylor so you've got the you, you've got you've got the Taylor warranty I've got, I've got the lifetime 12 years 70 mm. days is mm. um, and the case for this is the best case I've ever had mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a, a, you know, it's, it's come, it's come out. I've got the original receipt that he paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, got the tags and everything now. Mm. Yeah, stairs. Which goes to show if, because you've come up with three guitars today, the Gilmore Strat, the Les Paul, and this one, all very, very affordable. Okay, if someone is just starting out, it's only got a hundred pounds to pay. It's, it's, it's a lot of money. But as a working guitarist. Six hundred pounds is a bit of a bargain. If you if you, you think know, about and that's generally what you've been paying for some really three, nice guitars. Here. Those those three guitars together are probably six, five fifty, and six fifty, mm -hmm. which come to a very nice figure of eighteen hundred pounds. Yeah, right. Which someone's going to say is a lot of money. I have sold guitars to buy them. Yeah, which you do. You have time. to. You can only have so many. I can't. You yeah. can't play that many. It gets yeah. to the point of just being that top C. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not. I'm not touring the world and need. Yeah. 21 like edges yeah. he's you've, got, you, of... you've got too many strats what strat comes a strat goes it's it's a yeah, strat yeah. Well, in this case actually sold a strat and bought a Les Paul which is mm -hmm. very unusual yeah. but still but but I had bought the 001 strat yeah. so I only had extra strat yeah. in the arsenal uh, yeah. um, so I've got three guitars for the price of what this is retail or yeah. what the price or maybe a little bit less than what the retail price would be on the Les Paul yeah and which is about 1500 even though no one do it you get a deal um, I'm not going to lose any money on them yeah because that looks to be good there was one little there's one dot, blemish there's, on the there's one on the back on the, there, on the lacquer which was there from the back it's, it's, it's yeah. more of a blemish it's more of a bit of a yeah. knock on there the front is absolutely yeah. immaculate you never used it you, you could never gel with it you uh -huh. know um, I've played it probably more than he has. It's a bit like that one there. Yeah. But he didn't have it that long. You know, it's not, it hasn't been sat in the bed for 15 years. Mm -hmm. he's, he's made a decision within six months to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And he wanted rid of it. Yeah. And he wasn't bothered. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just he got some money back. And it's an unusual guitar. Because somebody out there is thinking like, oh, I've got £600 to spend on a guitar. They've probably made up mind of, I want an acoustic, I want an electric. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Mm -hmm. You know, what yeah. is it? But because I played one and I was after one, it was... Um, I, I, I got it. Yeah, it's, uh...